my upright piano, as you can see here. So I wanted to just do a quick um, little demonstration of it. Um, it's an upright piano, so um, just depending on where you are in the course, I either talked about it or haven't yet. Um, but for the most part, um, the biggest thing about this piano is that the strings actually go along in the back right here. Um, I'm not going to show you them because there's so much stuff up actually up here right now. Um, but in another um, class, or you might have even seen it before, I have actually taken a picture of my piano like this. Um, so the interesting about the piano is that, first of all, um, that you can play many notes at once, as you kind of know already. You don't need any physics experience or music experience to know that. Um, but there is a certain thing called a scale in music. Um, and what a scale is, is a, a series of notes um, that kind of go together. Um, it's kind of a, um, an auditory, um, it sounds really good um, when you listen to it. So I'm going to play what is called a common C scale. That's a C major scale. If I keep going with that pattern, it's the same thing, just higher pitched. See, I can go down to this is known as what do you call a C scale. Um, I can do what is called a major chord, which is parts of that scale. It sounds really nice. Do inversions, different orders of which I play those notes, just like that. Those are called inversions on the C. Um, I can play a different um, set of notes. Um, in the same scale, but I can make it sound um, a little darker, called a minor scale. I'm going to go ahead and play that for you. Here's a minor scale. I'm going to do A minor. It's a different kind of tone. Sounds a little sad. Doesn't feel like it was resolved when you hear it. Um, so that's a, um, a minor scale. Um, another scale you can listen to is a chromatic. As you can hear, um, chromatic scale is going up um, one note at a time, and that's including all the, um, the black keys that are right here, um, which are known as sharps and flats. So it turns out, in order to be a scale mathematically, you have to have a certain number ratio. So ratios are um, big words for um, taking two numbers and dividing them. Um, it doesn't matter where I play that scale as long as I keep the ratios the same. So here's this C scale that I played for you earlier. Here's an E scale. Notice it sounds similar, right? Now, when I was playing that scale, I had to play it differently than it was before. I don't know if you noticed what I'm playing over here, um, but I'm actually using for the C scale all white keys. And I'll try to emphasize it by putting my finger right here. There you go. If I started on the E note and did the same thing, it doesn't sound right. Not the right way. This is the right way. to make that scale. So what you're going to do in this lab today is actually kind of look at the mathematics of a scale. So um, a fun fact, you would normally do this in a lab setting where you would actually play the notes on an online keyboard. Of course, you don't have the lab equipment to do such a thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually play the notes for you. Once you get the frequencies, you're going to calculate the interval ratio, it's called, between each of the notes. Now, there's going to be eight notes in, an, in a scale. Um, well, seven notes, technically, and then the last, the last note is the same as the first note, called an octave. So this is uh, the eighth note, but the seventh note, septonic scale, um, is what you're going to be um, doing when you do this lab. So like I said, I'm going to play, uh, I'll play it for you just so you can hear what it sounds like. 
You're going to play the following notes. Um, and you're going to, like I said, find the frequency for each of those. So um, what I'm going to do actually is stop this video because this is kind of like the intro, the pre lab le uh, lecture. Um, and then I'm going to actually start the video again, playing the notes and reading the graph, okay? Um, and then you can proceed to do the lab then.